I got more happy places this time. It's the puppy part, little shoppies pack. I have Sarah, Susie, and Chris T to open, and that will mean more roommates for the house. Hey, s'mores, it's Rose here, and today life needs more Shopkins happy places. So I'm here with the little shoppies, Sarah, Sushi, and Chris T. They go with the puppy parlor, which means they'll help complete my puppy parlor room. Yes, because they get two exclusive packings that go right in with it. So that means I did find Sarah Sushi. She was like the last one I need. So now I have every little shoppy and every little set. Except for, I guess, the blind packages. Yeah. But I have like the actual set sets, not the blind bags. So we'll be able to finally complete the house with these girls. And I'll show you guys. I need to show you guys um, what these little shoppies could fit. And I'm probably going to show a comparison with Sarah Sushi and the big one. So Sarah Sushi is in the Puck Pro lounge room. It says, happiness is chilling on the couch with her pecking friends, talking it easy with the puppy parlor, taking it, taking it easy in the puppy parlor lounge room is where Sarah Susie likes to release into the, into the peace. And spreading the calm is just one of her charms for the smooth little shopping. And for Chris T, it says, happiness is kicking back with a cup of tea. There's no better way to chill with her pecking friends while she relaxes in the puppy parlor lounge room. But Chris T doesn't take sugar in her tea. She's sweet enough already. Huh? So let's open these up. Oof, they almost fell there. So I got the shoppies out, and I just got Sarah Sushi. And when I realized that she could fit on the little stands, like the little one. She's going to have trouble standing. There we go. Then we have little Sarah Sushi. They don't have the makeup. See how they have the makeup on their eyes? She doesn't. Same red lips, same eyeballs, roughly the same outfit. Not really, because the skirt's different. And it's not lined with green. And the bow, the bow's the same, except Sarah Sushi's dress does come off on the small one. And the shoe is just simplified. Like all the shoes are simplified to like one color. But if you look closely, you can tell that they're technically the same shoe. And it's gonna say the headband's the same when it comes to the fish, the rice, and the chopsticks, but she doesn't have the hat anymore. She just has sushi. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let me just put their sushi away and adjust the camera so you can see the little shop peckins better. So I got her little stand up. There we go. Of course, he can move their arms, they can sit. For her shorter, of course, in Sarah Sushi's but I think that's because they'll probably lose balance if her hair went all the way to their legs. And let's see. I want to just explain the checklist a bit. Some people are, con are confused about it. So, of course, you see in purple, it's a little shoppies pack. So, if we go to Sarah Sushi, it's in purple. Looks like 74 is the bento box. Look at oh, that little sushi. Of course, it's a dog. It's a dog. And then we have these chopsticks, number 75, which actually look perfect for Sarah Sushi size, like the big one. Why aren't they focusing on its little itchy bitchy face? And it can go right inside the box. That's so cute. So that's what she comes with. Then we have Christy. Ah, she fell. I have to get out your stands. The stands come in these bright yellow blind bags, which makes you think it's a blind bag with some shock inside, but nope. Christy is one of the new shopkins. I don't know if they're gonna make a big version of all these new ones. I hope they do, but you know, it would be nice. Then again, they didn't make every single big shop be small. You don't see peppermint, donatina, Pam cake. Or even the new one, Pineapple Lily. You don't see them small, so. <laughs> so Chris T is over here. Oh look, it's like teacups and shoes. And her dress is like the tea's pouring out. Tea, I guess. The teapot is pouring out tea. She's in the puppy parlor, not the kitchen. At least I guess the other ones, I don't know. 
Yes, she likes to. Oh, this puppy is about relaxing. I understand now. Okay, let me get this little plate. Doesn't really have a name. It's a saucer. And we get the teacup number seventy. Yeah. Number seventy-two. If I can find the little cup. Some of these are very tiny. But I think the next packing that Chris T comes with probably wins the award for being the tiniest. Why aren't you focusing on its face? It's like rain perfect. There we go. You got little cat ears and everything. And the next one is this the world's tiniest pecking known to existence. Do you see that? That is so small. His name is Cookie, right? It's a cookie. Number 73 is a cookie. Now let me put it down. I can't. Just focus on how tiny that cookie is. So tiny. So I was like, this cannot be the tiniest one. I thought the ring was the tiniest one. Let's see. Who's tinier? I think the ring wins because it's thin in the back. About the same size height wise. But this has more plastic than that because this is a ring. The weird thing is the ring looks big on them, like the Shoppies dolls, but it looks fine on the big ones. So the ring looks fine on the big shop, these dolls. Not these little Shoppies. It looks too big. So there we go. Now let's put Sarah Sushi and Chris T inside the house where they will help Puppet decorate and finish the puppy parlor. But first, I was going to show you guys size. So I was looking at the fashion spree things and I'm like, look at that. They're like perfect size. It's like perfect lockers. That's kind of a big locker, but it's too small to be the shoppies, the big ones. I will say they can ride on this one. I take off their stand. Yep, they can ride on the skidoo. And I think even the sled. Yep, they can even fit on the sled. And snowboard. And bench. And there was some other thing I wanted to see if they could fit, which was the slide. I don't think so. It looks like the chair. The chair's a nice fit, but I don't think they can fit in the bed. They can sit on the bed, but they just won't fit. They can go down the stairs of the bed, they just won't fit. They can sleep right here. Well, I guess if you wanted to, you can make them like a bed, because this whole house only has one bed, and there's like 10 shoppies in total, little ones. So... But then again, I don't know any other dollhouse where it comes with multiple people and they have like multiple bedrooms for those people. But maybe they do. Hmm. But if you look at like, I've did a review of Emma's house and Olivia's house. And if you look at that, it's like the parents have no bedroom. So they don't do it all the time. Sometimes they only put one bedroom, one bathroom, a nice kitchen, and a living room. And that's it. They call it a day. Looks like we have all of the shoppies. I don't know if you can see Coco Cookies. She's right there. And let's just add Christine and Sarah Sushi to the bunch by putting her in. Woo! <laughs> that really close. Oh. To the puppy parlor. So let's see. Is there room for your shoppies? Oh no! There's a bowl. And the side table is also full. Where am I going to put the teacup if there's a bowl in the way? Put the remote by the TV. I'm gonna move this forward so I can actually not miss the cookie. The world's smallest cookie to ever exist. If you thought shoppings were small before, if you see happy places, you're gonna be like, whoa. You have to like some of the biggest shoppings. Well, not that big, because Fashion Spree and Food Fair always existed, but you know. They have like some of the biggest petkins to the smallest ones. Chopsticks. Let's put it on the shelf. I don't know where else to put. Oh no, I put its face facing the wall. 
can't see. I'm gonna move the magazine rack. There we go. There's room for everything. There's even room for the Sharpies to sit. I don't know if you can see. Let's move that out the way. Get pop that standoff. Have her. Can I move the table again? Let's have her sit in your lamp. Lamp is our rainbow key. I'm so sorry. You were just minding your business, looking at a nice vase on the table. Well, Spaghetti Sue was staring at cookies, and Coco Cookie was also looking at the vase. <laughs> Trying to think of hair. I think I kind of have to make room for her hair. There we go. Then. We'll just. No! No! There we go. We gotta just move your head back a bit. Yes! They all fit! This is amazing. It's a bit crowded, but don't worry. I'm slowly extending the room so that there'll be room for all of them. Just, I guess, they can only fit three shoppies at a time. Wood block. So yeah, just move the TV back here and they can all be watching TV and having a nice conversation while having some tea and everything. So yeah, so that was Sarah Sushi and the Christy little tiny little shoppies packs. And I rate them a five. They look really cute and I like how they always add like a new character like Christy's new. No one has ever heard of her before. And they take some other characters that we've heard before. Like Sarah Sushi, and they put them in little mini dolls, and they come with mini accessories, and the shop takes this out the bowl. And I love their shoppings. Like all the ones in the mini packs, the little shoppies packs, they have Shoppy, a Peckin, I'm sorry, a Peckin, and then a, another one, another Peckin that somehow interacts with the other one. So they interact with each other. You know how with this bowl and the salt? cookies in the cookie jar, the mixer, the box and the chopsticks, the tea and the cookie. It's really cool. And stay tuned to my next video where I'll, I'll actually, this time, I'll be opening up the Jussie Cake bedroom with Melody. And then the one after that, I, I'll be opening up Bubbly Show with Lippy Lulu. Yeah, stay tuned for that. So please like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And remember, shop pecans come in all shapes and sizes. They can be as small as a cookie or as big as a um, couch.